Here we're going to be talking about sampling. We're going to reach into a large population of things. We're going to pick something out. We're going to look at it, see what there is. And then sometimes the sampling is done with replacement, meaning we put it back before we pick a second thing. Sometimes you do it without replacement. Um, for instance, if you're testing the flavor of chocolate, you can't take a bite of the chocolate bar, then put it back on the conveyor belt. That has to be taken out of the assembly. That is what we talk about when we say without replacement. So, um, it's really fairly straightforward, I think. Um, but you just have to pay attention to whether or not you're putting the object back, in which case the second pick is independent of the first one. Or if you're not putting it back, then the second pick is dependent on the first one. So it's nothing new. We have a bin, blue and green marbles. One thing about probability is you always see lots and lots of marbles in bins. Or when I was in college, we talked about urns, which are large vessels like this. And we have these marbles inside. Um, saw them all the time. It gets rather annoying, but it's a very easy way to illustrate probability. So we're going to select a marble from this bin and note its color, then replace it. Second marble is drawn and its color is noted. Determine the probability that they're both blue. So probability of blue and blue. Well, it's the probability of picking blue. It's four out of nine. Times, we're doing a second pick, and since we're replacing it, the configuration of these marbles hasn't changed. These are independent picks. The second pick is four ninths, 16 out of 81. And I would just leave the answer like this. If you want to take the extra step and take the time to plug it into your calculator, go for it. I would just leave it this way. Secondly, probability of blue and green. And when I say blue and green, I mean first blue, then second green. So maybe I should specify that. Blue, then green. So probability of picking blue is 4 ninths, though I'm writing in green times the probability of picking a green. Um, but remember, the first marble is replaced. So there are five green in that bin and nine total. So this would be 20 out of 81. Part C, one of each color. Probability blue, then green. And you might be saying, well, how does that differ from what we did in part B, there was one of each color there. Well, in this case, it could come blue, then green, or green, then blue. There's two different possibilities, and that's why I changed my wording up here in part B. So here we have 4 ninths times 5 ninths. That's the probability of blue, then green. Plus, we have to add on a second probability, green, then blue. 5 ninths times 4 ninths, and that ends up being 40 over 81, 40 out of 81, just shy of half the time. Now we have Silky. Um, she has bad luck with weather, so it rains 60% of the time she's on holiday. And it's cold 70% of the time. I think she should move. Um, we want to draw a tree diagram. All right, so drawing a tree diagram. Um, I'm going to say R is rainy. And C is cold. And you really need to define these variables that you're using. So it's either rainy or it's not rainy. And on that, it's either, after that, it's either cold or not cold. And now let's fill in our probabilities. It's rainy 60% of the time. And it, that means it's not rainy 40% of the time. It's cold 70% of the time. And not cold 30% of the time. And of course, this is a very objective classification. You guys that live in Florida think that 60 degrees is cold. People in Minnesota, not so much. 60 degrees is rather balmy. So it's up to the person making this classification. But according to Silky, she's got it rough. 
So I've got my tree diagram. I've got it labeled with my probabilities. And now it says use the tree diagram. Probability that it's cold and raining. So cold and raining, that would be the top branch. It's raining and it's cold. So 0.6 times 0.7, 42% of the time. Part two, it's fine and it's cold. So by fine, I think we should probably say that, that we're saying that that means it's not rainy, but it's still cold. So not rainy and cold, that's going to be that branch. Not rainy and cold, so 0.4 times 0.7, 28% of the time. Now I want to back up to this example here, and let's say that we change this to say that it's not being replaced. Well, in part A, the only thing that would change is that now instead of having four blue ones out of nine total, there would only be three blue ones left and eight total left. So the second probability changes. That's the only thing that is affected when we are no longer replacing the marbles or whatever it is after we sample. 